Ladies and gentlemen, day one of Season of the Haunted. We're going to be talking about what I've done so far. I didn't do any pinnacles on my Titan yet. I'm 1562 base on my Hunter, but I'm going to keep going. Right now, I'm sitting around the last unlock to get into this last row of the seasonal artifact. As you see, I'm right there. I only need 57,000. I did buy the 10 season pass, and then I turned in all my bounties. And I've been doing seasonal challenges, doing bounties as I can, you know, just pretty much trying to level up. And the main reason why I want to do that is I want to get to the 97 rank to unlock this cool skull helmet for all three classes. So let's talk about what we've been doing. While we're sitting here jamming on the drums, we bought this. There's a lot of cool stuff in the store today. I don't know if you haven't checked it out. There's some dope things in here. I did buy the Titan full set. I know you can't see because of the camera. Let me just put that down real quick. It's kind of cool. Um, I did buy the catch finish. This is pretty cool. It's the finisher, catches the hammer. That's dope too. If you want, you can just go into seasonal right here and you can buy this emote for charity, which I did. Um, so yeah, I bought that, I bought that, I bought that. What else did I buy? Oh, I bought the ship. There's some cool ornaments in here if you want to check them out, but I did buy all oh, right here. So the reason I bought this is because I got the ghost. I got the heart fire shell. I got the Batman ship, which this ship's really cool. And it comes with the sparrow. So we're going to talk about some artifact mods. Obviously, we have the sidearm, anti-barrier, overload rounds on the auto rifle. Some machine guns, unstop scouts, unstop glaive, anti-barrier pulse, shotgun holster, trace rifle ammo finder, nightmarish opulence, pulse rifle targeting, sidearm holster, sidearm dexterity, armor of the dying star. It pretty much gives you solar and void damage resist, uh, unquenchable thirst. Trace Rifle Reserve Shotgun Dexterity. Overload Trace Rifles uh, rev uh, Revitalizing Blast. And I want to mess with this some more. Withering Heat. This is juicy for champs. Then you have your Overload Solar Nades. Your Glaive of Dreams. And I haven't got to this last row yet. But if it, activating your Solar Class Abilities grants you Restoration, which is huge. Picking up an Orb of Power makes you Radiant. All Radiant Solar Precision Final Blows cause Combatants to Ignite. Solar exotic final blows create solar elemental wells. So this could be paired good with a solar um, exotic. And then you got your ignitions to increase damage and increased radius. Again, more testing needs to be done. Again, that's why I'm using my Heart of the Most Light build to spam my abilities every nine seconds, eight seconds. If you guys want to know how to get this artifact, you just do the first mission and then you go to the helm. So what I've done today so far is I did the quest, the introduction to the Leviathan, and then you have this Bound in Sorrow. I did this on my Hunter, but this is a weekly progress quest. Once you get this done, I mean, there's not much you can do. I'm just, I'm keeping it a buck. I mean, what you're doing is you're doing this event over and over and over and over and over and over, and there's not much to do besides that. Now there is a new PvP map. I haven't messed with it. The reason why is I just wanted to do all my PvE stuff. I want to get ready for the dungeon. Of course, I want to get ready for the dungeon, you know? But, you know, a lot of people are having mixed reviews. Solar 3.0 is not worth it. Solar 3.0 is worth it. Yada, yada, yada. Like I said, I haven't really messed with everything. I haven't gone over every fragment. I'm just using fragments right now, right now because I'm getting my slide, my powerful melee, every eight to nine seconds. And every time I use that melee, not only do I uh you know burn the enemies but i make me and my teammates radiant radiance a 25 percent damage buff you could correct me on that if i'm wrong but me and my teammates are always going to do more damage so you pair that with font of might and you got the juice the reason i'm running solace is because my radiant and restoration effects have increased lasting time and then this one i haven't really picked this third one yet but defeating scorched targets grants melee energy again i could switch this thing out now you could just simply go here and put on soul and put another socket on if you'd like but me i kind of like this slidey melee it's fun i kind of just want to go over here and go in a corner and just show you what i've been using this is just something in the works but i want to see what everybody's using okay i'm using the bonk obviously thermites uh constant creation now obviously we could use the soul for sunspots but i'm having fun with that roaring flames uh ember of searing is going to get swapped out but it does give me melee energy uh, the Ember of Solace is huge because it gives me longer Radiant when I activate it. And every time I do the slide, I become Radiant as well. So that's what I've been using. I've been pairing it with a high 
um, discipline build, Heart of Inmost Light. And the reason why Heart of Inmost Light is huge is because I can just hit this, throw the nade, then the melee is juiced, and it's always recharging my abilities, as you see they are now. Now, the reason why I'm running Sunshot is I'm just trying to mess around with stuff, but this stuff in this final row, you can use exotic weapons and get juiced. Solar exotic final blows create solar and elemental wells. So this could be good. So I'm kind of just trying to mix in a build with Sunshot or Taraba. Taraba's really good. Um, but I'm using Bait and Switch and Deliverance. Enhanced Demolitionist. So when I'm sitting here and I'm, for some reason, I don't have a nade, this gun is going to help me. So no matter what, I'm cycling through my weapons nonstop, cycling through my abilities, and just trying to pretty much have fun with it. Now, when someone does use, like, Div or something, I mean, I am going to do insane amounts of damage just because I'm always charged up. I have Font of Might on. I'm going to go over those mods. So cu currently what I'm running is Elemental Ordinance for Wells, Melee Wellmaker when I slide. I have on Font of Might, and I could put the um, Well of Tenacity here, but obviously I don't have the room for it, and then I'm... I'm I got a time dilation on for Font of Might, and if I encounter a champion, I got Withering Heat, which is huge. But again, kind of just wanted to talk about the Titan Solar 3.0 build I'm trying to put together. Um, obviously, there's many of them out there. There's going to be bonk builds. There's going to be stuff coming up. But again, if I could just sit here and empower all my stuff, like so, there's that div kicking in. I'm saving this. So this guy's going to start taking damage. He's going to put that div on. I'm going to smash him. That div's going on. Bait and switch is activated. Div's a little tough right now. But again, you know. Now look though, so since I wasn't spamming my abilities, I didn't get my hammer back, which I could have though. But like, you know, that was a bad... A really bad demonstration but you kind of get what i'm saying like i'm always empowered i'm always doing something and what's nice is is that i'm always making orbs and i'm always making wells always boosted you're always doing something now again this is to me this is a glass cannon build i don't care what anybody says this is a glass cannon build but it's fun you know i knew bait and switch was going to be huge this season because of solar and i knew that this enhanced demolitionist with chill clip would come in handy so you know I, I i think that this build could get pretty far as you see right now no one's running no one's buffing no one's buffing radiant so here's where i come in juice magooser i mean did and i got my nade back so if i go nade tall wall it's empowering my melee Nine seconds. It's taking nine seconds to do. So, again, that's just something that I've been working on. There's going to be more stuff in the future that we're working on, but I kind of wanted to go over that. Again, if you're not doing this, you also have the mission that's unlocked right here. The Sever Weekly Mission. It is a pinnacle, but that is the only pinnacle they added to the game. There is some other stuff they've added to the game. If you didn't notice... When you go into your destinations, there is a pinnacle next to Shattered Throne. That is for boss only. Same thing with Last Wish. If you click on Last Wish, all the encounters have their challenges active. Plus, when you beat Queen's Walk, you get a pinnacle drop before you even open a chest. So if you guys still need 1k, you'll get it, but you'll do your pinnacle. But it literally encourages people to do checkpoints. But it looks like every week when the featured raid changes, all raid challenges are going to be activated. Other than that, you're looking at the same thing. You have some pinnacles on the throne world. Uh, we did this one. This was easy. Wellspring's going to be a little tough at 1590. But remember, Wellspring and Dares, those two pinnacles are guaranteed to drop you weapons. So if you don't need weapons, stay away from those. If you're wondering what the plus one pinnacles are it's the three playlists in vanguard three gambit three crucible and this clan xp one it says powerful too but it is a plus one pinnacle other than that everything in the game is a plus two pinnacle i played on my hunter it's cool to spam the knives i have not dude 
I didn't do the snap yet, but like I said, um, it's a little mixed for me, reviews for me. I know it's day one. I know that the new dungeon's coming out. I know that we're gonna sit here and be able to have fun with all of that stuff when it comes out on Friday. But to me, I just feel like someone could sign on right now. As you see, I just melted that guy. Someone could sign on right now and be done in a few hours, you know? If you guys are wondering how to activate the slide, you just do the slide with the powerful melee. That's all you do. So right now I just go, wait till I get a slide, get it going and hit my melee. Now you do have to hit your melee twice, once in the air and one when you're landing. I'm gonna show you a demonstration of if I don't hit the double melee. As you see, I'm just waiting for my abilities to come back. One little kill with that. I got a grenade, I'm gonna throw that, throw this up and I will have my melee shortly. So if I slide and hit it once, it stops. That might be something important for you to know. Most people might not know that. It got me a couple times. So again, I just feel like people are going to be, you know, a little hyped up for the season when you were expecting more. You have to understand that something's going to come. Now, there is a ton of weapons that they added. Let's talk about those. Ostringer and, and, and Beloved and all those weapons that they've added that you're looking at your collections. You're looking at all those, sh all those new cool weapons. But... I literally have a beloved them sitting in my vault. You just have to remember that. And if you haven't taken down this, this dungeon, you, you guys want to talk about this? That's the dungeon helmet. This is the dungeon gauntlets. They literally say hockey on them. Hockey, whatever you want to pronounce it. Like what the hell? This is not a dungeon set. This is literally a reskin. I don't care what anybody says. I'm looking forward to this storm chaser. We haven't had an arc linear fusion rifle since Tarantella. And it fires a three round burst, which is new. So yay, I'm looking forward to that. Now this exotic sword, they pretty much exposed to us what it's going to be. Heavy attacks made with full sword energy, turn you invisible and fire exploding void projectiles. Cool, and it's got a catalyst. This is awesome. Something new. There's a grenade launcher right here that is stasis, pulse rifle. There's a submachine gun. But again, they made this void. It's a 750 void. We've seen this one before. We just got a 750 void. They could have made it anything else. In my opinion, uh, the emblem's cool. Solo flaw ember might be cool and fixed odds. And this fusion rifle is something that's brought back. Again, I can't wait to unlock that armor set that we seen, the Reaper set, but it's it's literally tied to XP. So you're just grinding stuff. Again, the first few hours when I was playing this season, I'm like, man, this is fun. Then I started doing pinnacles and I'm like, dude, it's the same thing. And again, I'm not saying this to make anybody mad. I'm just telling you guys how it is. I just think that they, you know, brought this back. Again, this activity that I'm doing right now is a failable activity. I failed multiple. Bungie took this out before because people complained about how it was so bad. And people didn't like a failable public event. As you see here, I can't get my shots off. But I just feel like if this season was too much of the old stuff, there's a lot of reskinned content in this season. A lot of guns that we've seen before. Now I understand everyone's like Clyde. Well, they're bringing guns back and there's new rolls on them. That's fine. But what am I using? What am I using the guns in? What activities am I playing with the new guns? I'm playing stuff that I've already played. You know what I'm saying? Last season, all I did was pinnacles. And now this season, all I'm doing is chilling. Now I understand we got the dungeon coming out. Hopefully it's a juicer, but I'm just giving my straight up 100% opinion, like I always do, and I hope that people understand where I'm coming from, just because most people are probably thinking the same exact thing. They signed on, they're like, hey, there's a whole bunch of stuff to do, and then you come here and do this a few times, and you're just like, oh. So I think that's fair. Again, uh, I'm going to be putting together some build videos this week. People have already been sending me their builds for their Warlock and Hunter. Again, they're gonna be using the same things, either glass cannon builds for DPS or healing. So again, I hope that my little review here was a good spiel and an honest opinion on what's to come. And I, I really hope that the future content of the season that happens every week in the dungeon's really good, but um, I felt like so Solar 3.0 was a little overhyped. 
Void 3.0 didn't get nerfed at all, so people are still going to want to use that because it's overpowered. But Solar 3.0 is fun so far, and this is just my day one. So other than that, I kind of gave you guys a game plan of what I've done in the game so far, what I'm doing, leveling up my season ranks. The only thing I've done in the whole day of gaming was just doing the seasonal quest. And now that I've completed it, I don't have anything to do until next week or when the dungeon comes out. So I'll be making a build guide very soon on all three classes and i will keep you guys posted so appreciate watching the video and i'll see you guys next time